All right, today we have our 06 CRF 50F. Started starving for fuel the, the other day when he was riding. It was sputtering. And uh, what I did to test it out was, you know, I turned the fuel petcock to on to reserve. And I tried opening up the bowl drain right here. And if fuel's fully in this bowl, it just flow right out the drain, the fuel drain, which is down here, the bottom of that black hose right here. So when I opened up this drain valve right here, no gas was coming out. So my guess is the float in here is stuck. Uh, even though I've taken extreme measures, I put marine grade stabilizer in every single tank of gas I get, bring it home. I put in a lot of fuel filter in here to capture any sediment. But uh, regardless, and I drained the bowl when I, we're not using this bike over the winter. So regardless, today we're gonna pull the carb off and uh, clean it out, see what's stuck in there. Maybe the valve or needle stuck there. So we'll, we'll take a look. All right, so anyway, we'll uh, take this carb off. There's a Phillips head screw that holds the air boot to the back of the carb. There's two eight millimeter screws or bolts or nuts right here in the front that hold it to the intake. Not called a manifold, but the intake pipe there. So that's what I'll take off right now. And of course, we'll take the fuel line off as well. But take these two eight millimeters off, one each side. Right, can you get me uh, one of those magnetic trays for the small one up there? Where's Where's Kinsley now? Okay, pull those two screws at the front. Loosen up this Phillips head. You don't have to take that all the way. Just loosen it up. The clamp will loosen up enough to be able to move the carb. And the fuel line here, I'm going to take it off right here on this side of the filter. Um, but if you can't take it off there, you can take it off at the carb on the other side. You also have to unscrew, let's see if we can get an angle in here. Um, the top of where the throttle cable comes in, there's a slide right here. So there's a big actually, a pair of pliers for that. Must have tightened it up really good last time. Um, top of this carb is a big castellated nut or so. And we'll take that off. All right, so see that where the throttle cable comes in? That's the part. Just gonna loosen up with this pair of pliers. A little bit and that should be finger tight. There we go. This carb was a cheapo aftermarket one. So not an OEM carb. Okay, so this carb should be free to move around. Rotate this way and pull this throttle out. There's one more hose back here on the other side. Let's see. Another drain, but that just comes straight off. So that's probably I'm not sure, but it's another line that goes to the back. And then there's a little black spacer on the front of the carb. I'll take that off. This goes with the O-ring facing towards the carb. That should give enough space to wiggle this carb. Out. Okay. We'll take this over. Work on the bench. Okay, so here's the carb, and this is the line on the other side that I pulled off. There's a little vent there. Um, pretty simple. We'll just clean out all the channels with some carbon choke cleaner. Doesn't matter what brand shooting all these different ports. Most likely I'm gonna find the problem down here in the float bowl. So we'll start there. And, um, all right, so Breck, this is the float bowl down here, we'll call it. Must be a certain amount of fuel in here. That the carb can pull in and the float controls the flow of the fuel from the fuel tank down into the bowl. Sometimes this float in the valve there gets stuck. So 
Boy. So I drain this every year. I don't see a bunch of schmutz in there. And nothing really obvious. We'll obviously continue pulling. We'll pull the jets out, the main jet. I said when I opened up this this drain valve here, fuel wasn't coming out. So to me that means there wasn't fuel in here, which means it was clogged up on the float valve. I find these O-rings that are in the bottom here. Once they uh, get this carb cleaner on, they never want to fit back in the right groove again. So I'm going to be very careful to try and keep that clean. Okay, so pull that Phillips that screw out. This will come out as an assembly. So I'm going to check the needle. The rubber still feels soft, so that's good. Keeping here. Using carb cleaner, always wear safety glasses. So first up, we should spray through here and fuel should be coming out of that. This kind of fuel. Okay. Well, carb cleaner is coming out of the hose here. I spray it there. Comes out there. So nothing's clogged up in there. It's not a port. But we're going to try and clean. Huh, this main jet was loose. Look at that. That was a problem. Well, that shouldn't have been loose, so maybe that was the problem, but why wouldn't the fuel train out? We'll, we'll tighten up anyway. We'll clean everything out. Um, there's a whole bunch of little ports here. Clean that out. There's our resident cat. So let's spray out the top there. That's good. Spray down through the top here. That's the main jet. There's a couple different ports down here. I gotta get that. Actually, get fuel through all of them. Not fuel, but carb cleaner, sorry. Yeah, I've shot myself in the eye a few times. This. It burns a little bit. Okay, I see it spraying through the other side. That means that pathway is clean. Check the pilot jet here. This one's important for it running right. Hmm. It's a very small hole. That pilot jet. Tiny and it's not, I don't have anything that small to fit through there. Okay, that's good. That comes up there. Pilot's just clear. Okay, so main jet, I can see through it. I see daylight through that, so that's clear. I'd be surprised if it was just being loose that caused this. But nothing on the float felt weird. But if this thing walked its way out, came loose. I'm not sure why that would have caused it to run weird. Tighten that up good and tight this time. I mentioned before this is a uh, not an OEM carb. You know it's like 10 bucks for the carb compared to $15 for a repair kit. And the buddy I bought this bike from was very mechanically inclined, had tried to rebuild the car before and still was having issues so I bit the bullet. I just bought a new one, so I'm trying to build the old one, rebuild the old one. This is the air mixture screw. Maybe one and a half turns out, so lightly seat back one and a half. Okay. Didn't find the smoking gun. Let's put this back together. There's a slot here. For the needle to go in. Some carbs are this little piece of aluminum. I'm casting right here. <laughs> There's a reason. It's cheaper than the cost of a rebuild kit for the OEM carb. Let's make sure this drain valve is working.
This foot is not adjustable as far as height. The ones with the metal tangs are, you can set the float height. Okay. Last check, we'll spray some carb cleaner through the fuel inlet. Sorry, I'm working, not looking where this camera's pointing. And see if this flows down. Okay, it's coming out. And then if you lift it up, it stops, let it go, it should drain. Okay. That's working properly. Put this back on here. So you can, in theory, clean what I just did there, like out while it's on the bike. You just rotate the carb and still keep it attached to the uh, air filter and the boot, but I didn't think it was worth fighting in, in, while it's still on the bike, this little carb. But other bikes that have more difficult carbs to pull apart or pull off the bike, you can sort of work on them on the bike, get a decent clean job. Okay. So this is the cylinder size. That right there is that O-ring that goes right there. Okay. It's got a little schmutz on the outside, but some fuel's been kind of leaking on it. But all right, let's go reinstall it and see if this bike uh, runs correctly now. Okay, now to test it, turn the fuel on. Fuel should be flowing into the carb right now. I open this drain here, fuel should be coming out the bottom of the drain hose. Huh. It's not. See, nothing's coming out of there. Still nothing. Are you trying to make a guess now? Yeah, I'm trying to test. You know it's on reserve. Yep. I tried on and reserve and nothing. Oh. But you didn't notice that. Well, that could have happened, buddy, but I did notice it this time. What? Okay, well, we're going to try this with leaving the carb on the bike. Take off this float bowl. And then we should fuel. Fall down. <sighs> Tested everything. Fuel's on. Why isn't it coming down right now? Wouldn't the gas pour out if you just like um, un undo that? Yeah, I checked this last time the fuel came out of there. Oh. Still no fuel. Try. Pulling the float fully out. Seeing if fuel comes out now. There it comes. Okay, so it's coming out now. So this needle, oh, look at that. I think it's, yeah, this float tip is destroyed. It's, it, see that right there? It expanded and Got too big. Okay, so see if we have another one of these floats sticking around. So even with that float open, the needle had become enlarged, therefore it was sealing it off all the time. Okay, we'll see if I can find a replacement part. So I always save all my parts. So this was the OEM carb rebuild kit that I tried first before just buying the aftermarket carb. So I see Float needle in here, still soft enough, and let's see, where is this? The tip is not enlarged, so we'll uh, we'll go with that. Hey, you know, this one is about to turn off. Why? Okay, so with that other pin, our other float needle, try to stick this.
This is why they're to pull the card up on the bench so they don't drop things. You guys just drop the float pivot axis, I guess call it, into the motor there. Okay, so now I have the new installed. Turn the carb horizontal. Turn the fuel on and see if fuel will come out. Yes, it does, okay. And then it turns off. On, off, okay. So we got a winner. Okay, so what happened with this uh, Sierra 50? I tried replacing the needle valve with a few different ones I had laying around, tried putting it back in the OEM carb, just didn't work. Um, essentially, what we have, this carb here, I, it, was a, it was a Chinese replacement I put on about two and a half years ago, and it lasted that long until the needle, as I showed in the previous video, valve just kind of swelled and stop, stop the flow of fuel. So I figured two and a half years for whatever these cost, maybe 13 bucks, wasn't that bad. Um, again, I tried rebuilding the OEM carb instead of the previous owner, that just didn't work. So I ended up getting the same exact Chinese carb, at least they said it was, although this looks uh, different than the previous one, even though it's the same seller, same model, I had good luck with that one. This one here's got a W on it. Um, and the replacement one does not. So you know, we'll try swapping carbs out here and see if we can get the fuel to stop leaking and move on with life. So that's what I'll be doing here. Okay. Here's the one from two and a half years ago. Here's the one I just got recently. over in the front there. This one here had a W on it. This one doesn't have a W. Um, otherwise they look identical enough. This one's just a little cleaner quality. This one's got some different issues with the casting right in there. So I don't know, maybe I got lucky last time and I won't get lucky this time. So we'll, we'll see about that. So my plan is to reuse the part from the last carb. Um, make sure this thing fits in here now before I install it in the bike. Make sure that, okay, it's up and down, no problem with the throttle. Reinstall that once I get the carb in the right location. thing first. Get the carb inserted. Sure. Turn the fuel line on. We're not going to get fuel dripping out the bottom of the carb. So, go ahead and turn it on. And I hope within the next few seconds to not see oil or fuel leaking out the bottom of the overflow. Okay. No leakage there. That's step one, I guess. Uh, successful there. We'll get this thing buttoned back up and uh, see if we can go out and fire it up. This side over here, there's one more line that goes over top of this carb on this side. Go back to the air box. Again, the hose actually 
fits over the aluminum casting and not the actual, I mean, it fits over top, but the ID of the hose fits on the OD of that casting. So. Okay, fuel's on, let's choke up. Bike's set to run, see how many kicks it takes to start, if it will start at all. Let it warm up and then we'll uh, see if we can adjust the carb at all. Or if we need to adjust the carb. Okay, it's idling out of the box. Let's give it a little gas, see how it runs. Yeah, I see no need to adjust any more than that. It's turning the idle up a little bit. We'll call this good. Um, it's run pretty good. Starts, idles, first kick. Uh, let my keep around on it some and then we'll uh, take a look at it after he rides for a little bit. All right, two thumbs up for the cheap Chinese carb. Um, started ran good, so uh, thanks for watching. This project is done for now. Hope we get another couple years out of this uh, replacement carb as well. All right, take care.